today I'm making, I'm gonna make some burgers. I'm gonna show you this. I'm making some mushrooms right here. I'm cooking them up. Because I'm gonna make onion. Well, really what I'm gonna make are burgers and I'm gonna top it with mushrooms and onions. So these are those uh, baby portobello mushrooms, which are really good. I'm cooking it in my cast iron. You don't want to cook it too hot, so on low heat, just a little spray of oil in there, so all this moisture comes from the mushrooms. And before I cooked that, I made these caramelized onions. I'm going to turn another light on in here so it might look better. There, I'm out of the shadows. My, I made caramelized onions. Caramelized onions are really, really flavorful. I like them a lot. It's so simple, it's just onions. One of these days I'm gonna show you how to cook those caramelized onions. And now what I'm doing is I have a big, huge bag of broccoli. I have it in my colander. I'm gonna wash it in the sink, clean it, and I'm gonna cook that, and that's what I'm gonna have, burgers and broccoli. Now these little scraps I'm putting on this plate right here so I can bring it out there to kneel. Yesterday I was sanding my bench and he was he was mad at the sander. He thought it was hurting me and he went to bite it. It's okay, Neil. You can't hear him, but he's like winking. Oh, you're a good boy. You protected mommy? Come here. Come here, let me pat you. You want you want a treat? Look at that dirty nose. Oh, you're a protector pig, are you? Look, he's going to bite it. Don't bite it. It won't hurt me. I'll stop. I know you're so sweet. I love you. You're going to protect me? I'm just so, I'm so happy that you do that. It's so adorable. It's my little, it's a, my little guard pig. Okay, so, you know, obviously as I do this, I'm going to come back over here and stir the mushrooms. And I love mushrooms and onions, but I like them, I don't like them crunchy. Well, on tacos, I like crunchy onions, but, you know, for the top of a burger, you don't want it crunchy. You want to just bite into it and, you know, it'll be good. It makes a burger look so much fancier if you have a few toppings on it, you know, and I don't put cheese on it, so. It makes it look so much fancier if you just, um have just simple toppings. You know, you could just do vegetables like the onions and the mushrooms. It works out good. It's so funny when you, you know, you give it to somebody, they're like, ooh, like it's fancy. And you're like, it's not even fancy. It's, like it's just mushrooms and onions. But, you know, a lot of people just don't take the time to do it. So then, you know, it looks so fancy when it's really easy. So on my diet, what I've been doing is like really, really, really trying to eat vegetables. Like way, way, way more vegetables. And uh, protein, so that's what I'm doing. Just protein and vegetables, a lot of that. And a little bit of carbs. Not many carbs though. But I'm not like carb free, I do eat carbs. Of course, there are carbs and vegetables and everything else, so. You know, it's not carb free, but you know, like try just don't eat the pasta, potatoes, rice, and now I've just realized beans. I love beans, and beans are good for you, but beans, when you're trying to lose, when you're in the losing phase, you have to cut all those heavy carbs like that because, you know, it's hard to make that scale go down. And, you know, once you're maintaining, you can add a little bit of that stuff back in there. A little bit. Because a little bit goes a long way on those dense, heavy carbs. So, but for now, since I'm trying to lose, I just stay away from them. So, I don't eat beans either right now. So, basically what I try to do, I'll tell you what I usually eat every day. In the morning, I just have oatmeal. And I get, um... I do by the Quaker. It's just easier, but I mean, you know, a lot of the, a lot of the diehards will be like, oh, you eat Quaker? And it's like, yes, cause this is better than I was eating. So it's, it's a step up. You don't have to be perfect. And I can't stand trying to be perfect in anything because it sucks all the joy out of your life and I don't want to do that. So 
So for those people that want to do that, go right ahead. I, I don't want to do that. I buy the old fashioned ones because it literally, they look, they're just like the whole piece. It's not chopped at all and it's just flattened. It's almost like it's steamrolled or something. And you know, they're very, um, when you cook them, it's not like mushy. It's like fibrous, you can tell. And here's my little measuring cup, one third cup. So I can stay, you know, very uh, accurate. I just do that one third. And then I, have, I put two of my foam fresh eggs in there. I cook the eggs obviously separate, but then when the oatmeal is done and the eggs are done, I just go like plop and plop the eggs on top of the oatmeal. And I eat that because I'm trying to eat three little tiny meals a day. That's what I'm trying to do. I didn't used to. I used to, eat, I used to eat two meals a day, and then the hard part was at night, I would sit there like I'm starving when I was sewing or watching TV. And then, of course, you know, you're like, oh, I want to go get something to eat. And it's like munch, 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 munch. And now that I don't do that, I, th I was thinking this last night. <laughs> I was like, wow. You know, I ate a lot of extra calories sitting there every single night. Like, I'd be good pretty much all day. I'd eat pretty healthy. And then at night while I was watching TV, just that little munch, 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 munch. It's like, oh, boy. <laughs> I ate way too many calories. And, of course, you know, food's very fattening. And so I gained weight so easy and so fast. Because already, my body wants to be fat. It's a battle to get it skinny. I do not, you know, if you listen to some of the bodybuilders talk, you know, get some of their tapes and stuff, there's definitely different body types. You know, there's the kind that um, they pretty much can eat anything, and they're just blessed. You know, they have muscle, and it just shows, and boop, they have it pretty easy. And then, you know, there's the other type where, you know, they have muscle, but they have to work a little bit at it, you know, to get the weight off and do it. And then there's me, the third kind, where, you know, it is a battle to keep the weight off, and I gain weight easy. And there's a lot of people like that out there, a lot of people. So, you know, if you're one of those like me, <laughs> you're not alone. You have company. And, uh, but so, you know, it, it just makes it more of a battle, <clears throat> but it's for sure not impossible. You know, a lot of people say to you, oh, as you get older, it's harder to lose weight. No, it isn't. It's hard to lose weight no matter what age you are. It is hard to lose weight. So don't let that, don't let people discourage you by saying that. Oh, it's so much harder to lose weight when you're older. Well, Really, it's hard to lose weight no matter what age you are if you have the type of body type that I have that it doesn't want to lose weight. It wants to be fat. And also, there's different types of people in the sense that, you know, some people just, they don't think about food. You know, they're just busy throughout the day and like, oh, I went the whole day and I was so busy. I, I didn't eat. I forgot to eat. And I'm like, what? Forgot to eat? Like, that's all I think about, you know? I could spend a lot of time thinking about food. I, I can't even imagine, like, oh, I went all day and forgot to eat. <laughs> like, I can't relate to that at all. And then um, there's other people that just, I guess, food doesn't taste that good to them. They don't have good taste buds. I have really good taste buds. Like, I taste everything, and everything's delicious. So if I look at it all that way, like everything's stacked against me, <laughs> but I'm still determined because, you know, you can still do it. It's for sure. But then when you're my body type, like all those things I just said, for sure you're in it for the long haul. You know, you're not just like, oh, I'm going to drop 10 pounds. You have to like get a lifestyle get into some new good habits, and you have to just tell yourself, this isn't no three month plan. This is, I have to do this forever, you know? And just, that's the, that's the view you have to take, the approach, if you have my body type, you know? So, 
I mean, some people, some people can drop weight fast, but whatever, you know, everybody's different. All right, so here's these mushrooms. The good part is I do love to cook, so, you know, I don't mind cooking healthy food. I actually really enjoy it. Okay, so these are done. I mean, I don't know if you can see them very good, if the light lets you, but... You know, they're, they're still in the pieces, and they're just, you know, they're getting to the rubbery stage, which I like them like that. Maybe I'll let them cook a tiny, tiny bit more, but there is a, you can cross a line where they're just too cooked. I like to cook this broccoli until it's very mushy, and you can almost like, almost like mush it up so it's soft. Because if I don't, it just feels so fibrous, I don't really like it. So that's what I'm going to do today, especially there's so much. It looks like a lot, but it will cook when you mush it up. And I don't want to waste it. I hate wasting, so. What I'll do, too, when I'm making a big, big pot like this is um, I'll eat it twice. Like, I'll eat this for lunch, and then I will eat it again for dinner. And then if there is anything left over, and I don't feel like saving it, like I look in there and I'm like, mm, I don't want to eat that again. What I'll do is um, I'll give to the, to the animals. I'll give to the chickens because everything I give to the chickens, I just think to myself, okay, I'm recycling it into farm fresh eggs. So that's what I do. Okay, here it is, the finished product. A nice burger with caramelized onions and mushrooms and the broccoli. And it's made on sourdough bread with a cup of coffee.